Welcome. In this presentation we consider the notions of connectivism and connected learning. We try to study them according to three perspectives. 1. What is connectivism? 2. What are the theoreticians and the models in relation to this notion? 3. What are the stakes to be considered when using connectivism in pedagogical scenarios? What is connectivism? In connectivism, the acquisition of knowledge, know-how, and competences is done with connections to others and to data via digital media. The contents are distributed through a network of connections, and learning relies on the ability to build and navigate these networks. In comparison to the different learning theories, connectivism has some particularities. The learner is active, he, she learns by being connected, practicing and reflecting. The teacher appropriates and uses digital practices and technologies to promote collaboration, the search for resources and the creation of content. The connectivist approach is enabled by the internet and new technologies and moves away from constructivism by defining the contours of distance learning. It is based on the evolutions and opportunities that new technologies offer to learning. Learning evolves in response to online connections, which tends to displace face-to-face -face social interactions in favor of technology-mediated interactions. Connectivist approaches intensify the power given to technology. Connectivism is a pedagogical approach based on digital innovation. Who are the main theoreticians who contributed to connectivism in the field of teaching and learning? Stephen Downs and George Siemens, while very different, have two major points in common, connectivism and MOOCs. Stephen Downs considers himself a philosopher with a professional interest in online learning, and more specifically in the use of networks for learning. This includes MOOCs and many other forms of open, collaborative, online learning. George Siemens is a trainer with a similar vision of connectivism and both a theoretical and practical interest in online learning and MOOCs. In 2008, Siemens and Downs designed and facilitated the first CMOOC. This led to an often cited distinction between CMOOCs, Connectivist, and XMOOCs. The CMOOCs are open, enriched by learner participation and input, with greater use of social networks and other network tools. The XMOOCs, that actually represent most MOOCs, are presented more formally in a traditional course structure, with videos, text, automated assessment, peer review and social interaction. One can certainly say that Siemens and Downs kicked off MOOCs, but only in the sense that they are the creators of the C-MOOC. While it is true that Siemens and Downs offered the first MOOC, it was not the first massive, free, or even open course, a fact acknowledged by Downs. Others, both in the corporate sector and online, had offered such courses. Nonetheless, in this respect, they remain pioneers of MOOCs and online learning. Downs and Siemens contrast connectivism with cognitivism and constructivism to emphasize the effects of the technological device, particularly because an e-learning device is not technologically reduced to a platform hosting content but because it is associated with the practices of new technologies, such as social networks, microblogging, collaborative online software, whose appropriation is growing. These technologies play a role in the participant experience. Connectivism is the sum of principles from chaos theory, networks, self-organization and complexity. Learning is a process that occurs in fuzzy environments composed of changing building blocks, and is not entirely under the control of the individual. Learning may reside outside the individual, within an organization or a database, and focuses on connecting specialized sets of information. The connections that enable further learning are more important than the current state of our knowledge. Other researchers have prepared the ground for connectivism, the work of Hutchins, Spivey, the writer on distribution and the work of Pierre G., Bruner, Papert, Bandura on socialization. Connectivism attempts to take into account chaos theory by Gleek, network theory by Barabasi and self-organization by Rocher. In France and in Europe the term connected learning is more widespread. Gatier refers to it as a model of learning that attempts to take into account the social changes resulting from technological developments. Meunier and Pariah describe the connectivist learner, during his, her online activities, as immersed in social instances of cooperation. 
Cardon recognizes that it is based on the development of microblogging, which refers to the activity of creating brief content on social networks. The practices are linked to digital nomadism, laptop, tablet, smartphone, etc. For Lebrun and Akitili, this functional interactivity between the learner and the machine is fortunately completed, at the level of learning, with an interactivity between the different users, teachers and students as co-constructors of knowledge. Research is also focusing on communities of learning and practice. Stakes The value of information The development of the internet reveals a phenomenon of constant production of resources, activities, and an abundance of information. The connectivist learner must learn to choose according to his, her values and needs. Sakalaki and the port specify, information is a permanent experience good because it is constantly renewed, either because it becomes obsolete quickly, or because there are informational strategies consisting of creating, acquiring, filtering, conserving or manipulating information in order to benefit from the annuity link to its possession. The learner must learn to search, select, modify and share information. Learn to learn. Manage his, her e-presence. The agile teacher is at the center of an active and connected pedagogy. The teacher interacts with his, her learners and his, her communities. Through a connected pedagogical process, he, she proposes practices, cognitive and social strategies and digital resources. Providing feedback and reflexivity, the collective improves the pedagogical device and the learning process. To succeed in his, her connected pedagogy, the teacher must mobilize a number of skills. Some are cognitive, empathy, tolerance and decentering, others involve their relationship with technology, agility, managing e-presence. Thank you.